Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at these strange structures that were discovered by a young man by the name of Herrick on Google Earth. These are sitting out over the ocean, and I found many, many more examples of these things that we're going to take a much closer look at here in just a second. I did some research, and I actually found out what these things are. This is the video clip that Herrick sent me when he found them. And it's just of one location of many that I actually ended up finding on Google Earth. They all appear to be about the same size. At first, you look at these things, they look like some sort of a giant saucer. They're all very symmetrically round, uh, appear to be the same size. Again, sitting out in the water, appear to be looped together by some sort of material, definitely have purpose whatever they are and at first honestly i'd never seen anything quite like this sitting out floating in the water i appear uh, they appear to be floating along any coastline never anything quite this shape or this size so i did some research went to google earth first and i went to the location and ended up finding some more this is where they're located new brunswick and Nova Scotia. I went to New Brunswick, found some here, did some measuring, and they all seem to be around 100 feet, or just a little over, 100 feet in diameter. That one right there is 156 feet. This one here, uh, 156 feet as well. This one here, 158 feet. So they're all around 150, 158 feet, relatively close to the same size same definite shape they're round here's another area here that's got three six nine twelve and you can see boats out here around these things so i'm like okay this must be some sort of what they call aquaculture we have agriculture and we have aquaculture but i'd never seen these things before and there's all of these areas i have marked here are more examples we can go over here to the nova scotia side and you can see some more examples here here's about 16 and there's several more down here as well we've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen there's twenty here and again, same size, about 100, 150 feet wide. So what I did was a simple Google search. Actually, it wasn't super simple. Typed in round structures sitting offshore. Um, finally came to an article here at biographic.com, and they did have a picture of those exact structures that I just showed you right there. What we're looking at is an aerial view of a salmon breeding farm offshore. And I went ahead and did some reading. I read both this article here and an article at the Huff Post. A little bit of controversy around these things. Um, apparently, these farms came in to be once salmon fishing was banned um, because of a, a salmon shortage. Atlantic salmon, best suited to cold waters, were once found swimming in almost every coastal river northeast of the Hudson, but have been wiped out from these habitats largely due to historic overfishing and environmental destruction. Now, according to U.S. fishery officials, the only native U.S. populations of fish are found in Maine. Commercial fishing for wild Atlantic salmon is banned in the U.S. due to low population. There's an article here, like I said, from HuffPost. If you go on to read this article, it tells you that most of the salmon, if not all of the salmon that you're consuming in North America comes from these fish farms. So that's what we're looking at, Herrick. Here's another example of these fish farms, and that's how they're producing salmon since they're not able to go out and fish for them anymore in the wild because their, uh, their populations have gotten so low they found other ways to do it. It's a little bit controversial. Um, I'm not going to get into all those details. Um, that's not why I did the video. I did the video because these things from the air look a little mysterious. They really do. And that's what intrigued Herrick, the young man that sent me the video of these things. Because from way up in the sky, they almost look like some sort of a, a disc sitting in the water, you know? Look like something that, um, you know, it's kind of unexplained, look a little mysterious. 
but their basic, what they call aquaculture, their fish farms located off the coast of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, and I'm sure there's probably many, many more at other locations around the world. So most of the salmon that you're eating in North America is more than likely from one of those types of facilities. This other article here goes on to say, at current rates, according to a 2006 article in the journal Science, the world will run out of all wild caught fish by mid-century, by around 2050. And that's an article from Biographics. Dot com. You can find that article down below in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.